Hey, hope you're doing well. My name's Steve. In this short video, I want to show you a quick little trick that you can use to make your bass line sound a little bit more interesting. Now, this lesson is of course geared towards bass players, but I think that this technique can be especially useful if you're somebody who's writing bass lines who's not a bass player. For example, somebody who's making beats, a producer, a songwriter, anybody who wants to make interesting bass lines should have this technique at their disposal. So oftentimes when we want to create bass lines, we put the root on beat one. It's sort of a basic fundamental rule of bass lines, made famous perhaps by Bootsy Collins, a classic video here on YouTube where he talks about playing the one, that you can make anything funky as long as you come back on the one. This is a really great lesson and it's really, really useful. But one thing that I don't see enough bass players do is to choose to put another note on beat one and delay the root. So let me show you what that would sound like. Say we just had a basic bass line just over a D chord, a D minor chord. So what I'm doing there is instead of playing the root on beat one, I'm choosing another note, in this case the fifth, A, and playing that on beat one before going to the root. So for example, one, two, three, four. Okay, and the beauty of this technique is that you can get a lot of mileage out of it by choosing different notes to put on the one. For example, you can start by choosing the different chord tones in the chord. So here I'm playing the five, but I could go to the minor three. The seven. The two. So it's a pretty simple idea. You want to put another note before the root on beat one. Now this is something you might not want to use all the time. It might not be appropriate to play a note other than the root on beat one. <clears throat> but it can be used to make your line sound a little bit more interesting. In sort of a jamming and gigging context, this is really useful. Because you can create more motion, you can create uh, a more interesting bass line without changing too much about your bass line. Again, we're just going from to this, but it has a whole different flavor. So that's it. It's a pretty simple idea. All we're doing is we're playing another note right before the one. That other note sort of creates a forward motion, it kind of pulls back to the one. It also creates a little bit more color, since we're sort of saying something about the one before we get there. This technique is found in funk music, hip-hop music, rock music, but it's especially found in reggae music and Latin music. Alright, so if this video was useful for you, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what you think. And if you dig this type of content, Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.